UGCS Mapper is a simple, fast and affordable photogrammetry software. It easily generates orthomosaic and digital elevation models and is perfect for processing aerial data in the field. Starting from September 2021, users can process multispectral images from MicaSense Red Edge cameras in UGCS Mapper. This way, UGCS Mapper significantly improves crop health analysis workflow, yet remains an affordable photogrammetry solution for everyone. Let's see how it works. Red Edge generates five TIFF files for each shot. Each file contains a certain spectral band. The first is blue, followed by green, red, near-infrared, and red edge. UGCS Mapper operates with three bands at a time, allowing for faster data processing. The result is a JPEG file with the selected three bands. To generate ordinary orthomosaics and elevation, pick red, green, and blue bands. To calculate the vegetation index, pick red, near-infrared, and red edge bands. The generated JPEG files then need to be stitched into an orthomosaic and elevation model. Import the orthomosaic GeoTIFF file into the free QGIS software, then perform a raster calculation for the preferred vegetation index. Most vegetation index formulas operate with just three bands. UGCS Mapper is a product of SPH Engineering. Download the latest UGCS Mapper software from www.ugcs.com slash mapper. UGCS Mapper Tools is an add-on with additional software features like multi-spectral processing support. Download it from the UGCS.com website. UGCS Mapper and UGCS Mapper Tools can be installed in any sequence. For demo purposes, use sample data from MicaSense's website. Download and install QGIS Desktop from the official website. Follow the link on the screen. Visit learn.mapper.ugcs.com for the latest documentation for UGCS Mapper and UGCS Mapper tools. Assuming all software is set up and running, let's process multispectral images. First, run Mapper and open Configuration. Open the Tools tab and map three of the five original multispectral image bands. These three bands will then form intermediate JPEG files. Untick Gamma Correction. This improves brightness and white balance in JPEG images, but is not needed for vegetation index calculation. The reflectance panel can be obtained from the camera manufacturer and significantly improves data accuracy. When configuration is complete, click Return Back. Next, click the Hummer icon button to specify the directories with the original TIFF and resulting three-band JPEG files. Then press Start. UGCS Mapper will now generate files for further stitching. Upon completion of UGCS Mapper processing, inspect the results in the directory with JPEG files. These files will be used for photogrammetry processing later. Each JPEG comprises data in accordance with the previously defined configuration. Band number one is red, Band number two is near infrared, and band number three is red edge. These three bands will be sufficient for NDVI and NDRE calculation. If other bands are required, change band mapping in tools configuration and run file generation again using another destination directory. Now let's run stitching. Set the directory with generated JPEG files as a source and another directory as destination for orthomosaic and elevation data. Then click Process. This may take a while. When UGCS Mapper completes processing, preview the result. This map is stored in the destination directory. The folder contains orthomosaic and elevation model GeoTIFF files as well as a processing report. 
For NDVI calculation, open QGIS. Then add a raster layer with Ortho Mosaics from UGCS Mapper. Ortho Mosaics has the same three bands as JPEGs, Red, NIR, and Red Edge. These bands are sufficient for NDVI and NDRE calculation. Raster Calculator is a very powerful tool for synthesizing rasters based on source raster and some formula. Let's start with NDVI. The NDVI formula is the difference between NIR and red channels divided by their sum. Remember that red is in band number one and NIR is in band number two. Type this function in the raster calculator and specify the destination GeoTIFF file name. The resulting layer is a single band raster with values in the range of minus one to plus one. That is why it is rendered grayscale by default. Change the style to highlight problematic and healthy areas. The closer NDVI is to minus one, the bigger problems the field has. Conversely, the larger the NDVI value, the healthier the area is. Use single band pseudo color with linear gradient, where red is bad and green is good. Let's perform the same calculation, but for NDRE. The difference between NDRE and NDVI is that, instead of red, NDRE uses red edge in its formula. The NDRE index provides a more accurate value on the chlorophyll content of the tree and works well with larger trees. The NDVI index provides insights into the biomass levels of trees and is more indicative of the health of smaller trees. Now let's build a more accurate map with zoning. To begin with, clip everything besides the area of interest. Then create a temporary scratch layer in QGIS which contains a polygon with the area of interest boundaries. In this example, we draw it manually. However, it can also be imported from shape or KML files. Open the Clip Raster by Mask tool. Select NDRE Raster as a source and Polygon as a mask. Then run Clipping and rename the resulting layer appropriately. Change Styling to Single Band Multicolor, but this time select Discrete Interpolation instead of Linear. This way the program will group pixels into several clusters and assign the same color for the entire cluster. Field zone boundaries will now be much clearer. That's it! We hope this tutorial was enjoyable. Send any questions to support at UGCS.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to UGCS TV.